Good morning. I'm Matt Call, Planning Operations with Great Basin Team 1. We're here on the Moose Fire on the Salmon Chalice National Forest. This morning, the Moose Fire is 130,079 acres, and we're still at 47% containment. We're going to start with the IR, kind of show you what we have going on uh, and what we got from our imagery last night. This is an overview of the fire. This is the perimeter of the outside of the fire, and then salmon is right here. So big picture wise, we have the owl fire here tonight. We'll be assuming command of that at 2000 hours, eight o'clock. So today we're spending some time interfacing with those resources. There's a crew and some engines, and we're just making sure that we know what their tactics and strategies are. So tonight when we take over that fire, we can plug right in seamlessly and have good communications and be able to provide them a medical support and logistical support uh, as needed. We're going to tilt this down a little bit, give us a cool 3D view, and we're going to pivot it here, and we're going to look to the west, kind of see what the heat looks like right above the town of Salmon and into the watershed. So with this IR image, these different colors indicate more intense uh, heat. So for a reference, we've got the power line here which was turned on yesterday successfully, so now we're, uh, they're able to provide power back to the mines. We're pretty happy about that. The watershed is encompassing in this area right here. So we, you see we, ha we do have some fire in the watershed. It's not progressing really rapidly because we've got some uh, open fuel stands here. A lot heavier fuels on this north face where it's spreading more. We're, we're not too concerned about that because it's sort of burning back into itself so we're okay with, with that growth there. Burning back into itself is kind of what we want. It kind of helps us create a little bit more of a line. So we're really kind of watching the growth on this side. One of the things we're able to do with this extra moisture we have coming in today, we've got about a 60% chance of rain today. So that allows us to get in a little bit closer and take a look at what these look like because the fire intensity has subsided quite a bit. Still some pretty steep terrain, uh, lots of snags or hazard trees, but some of these little pieces here, we might be able to get in and, and do a little, what we call checking up, put a little line around them and maybe slow their progression. Uh, but we do that really slowly, basically take a, lo a lot of time and not a lot of people just to make sure that we're taking the appropriate precautions uh, for safety, and not just throwing a bunch of people and equipment in a, a hazardous area. The same kind of thing is going on here. Uh, so the Stormy Peak Road is right here for your reference. So we've got some growth going down and it kind of runs out of fuels here as it gets down closer to town. And these lighter fuels aren't real receptive, especially when it's, uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air and it's a lot easier to pick up the fire. But because there's so much uncontained edge, it's really difficult and impractical in this fuels and, and terrain just to go after it directly particularly if we have really intense fire behavior. So that's kind of what the fuels look like. We've got a lot of little spot fires, so just a lot of, a uh, lot of edge out there uh, that we would have to contain. So one of the things the crews are doing right now, because the, the moisture's higher, it's a little bit safer with the fire behavior, they're going to go into these little places and kind of see what they look like and if they can check those up and kind of stop or slow down some of that fire spread. We had a lot of cloud cover last night, and because we had that, uh, it makes the IR a little bit less accurate. So we're gonna use the drones again today, that we call them a UAS, an unmanned aerial system, and those drones have this same type of technology. So we're gonna launch a drone from this platform there. It's kind of a, a lookout, and we're gonna send that drone down into this drainage to, to help look at these, just so we can have a little bit more accurate picture and a little bit more aerial support uh, for those hand crews that are going in there. This is the, the power line. We're going to be pulling some more log decks out of here and protecting them. Most of the log decks along here are either being put in the right place so we can protect them or they have sprinkler kits or hoses on them. And on the diamond line, most of the, the logs in that area, I believe that's up here, are being pulled to the right place and then we still have a few days of, of transporting logs down into the valley. We're going to pivot back up north here 
and go to the Leesburg area. Still have quite a few resources in here and some structure protection around the mine and the town of Leesburg. And then we have a contingency plan basically to help protect this edge here if this fire should progress further south. Some of the things we have going on here are about the same. We have some, some crews kind of looking at these edges with the assistance of the drones to kind of look and see is there some places where we can go in and check the fire up a little bit. This is an elevated point where we have a, a drone. We're going to fly in and kind of look at those places there. Further south on the Williams Creek Road, we've got more contingency. Uh, I'm going to flip to a little bit easier way to see this. So down on the Williams Creek Road, we've got uh, fuels mitigation happening and chipping, so we can use that uh, line or that road as a, a fuel break in the future if the fire decides to uh, move a little bit past this, this power line easement. We're going to go up here to the Owl Fire. Let's spin a little bit. So this is the Owl Fire. The river road's right here, and this is Panther Creek. So the Owl Fire is... A, around about 800 acres and not a lot of growth but in some of the similar rough terrain you can see kind of how steep it is so we've got a crew going up there putting in some check line uh, in some of these hotter areas we just don't want it to burn down the canyon and threaten uh, the structures that we have down there we do have some engines in place putting in pumps and, and sprinkler kits those, those kinds of things uh, to help protect these these assets and then the crew is actually uh, going up on the hill uh, based on the weather if, if it's safe to, to go up and take a look at that. Move that back out, kind of take us back home so we can get oriented again. All right, still doing some road maintenance and there's quite a bit of heavy traffic uh, on the Williams Creek Road. So if you're, you're, if you're driving that road, uh, please drive, drive slow. We've got a lot of crews working on that road. Uh, so we're, we're really kind of concerned about that. With that, that'll conclude our briefing for September 15th. And we're happy you were here.